Hey, Brandon Robertson here from the Revangelical Movement. Have you ever felt confused, convicted, or perplexed by the amount of evangelicals who spend so much time writing blogs, tweeting, debating on comment feeds, posting on Facebook, and signing petitions online about... Hey, Brandon Robertson here from the Revangelical Movement. Have you ever felt confused, convicted, or perplexed by the amount of evangelicals who spend so much time writing blogs, tweeting, debating on comment feeds, posting on Facebook, and signing petitions online about all sorts of very important social justice and political issues with great passion, but when it comes to actually ponying up and acting on these issues in the real world, you'd be lucky to get a dozen of your friends to actually do anything substantial to create actual change in the world. Over the past two years that I've been blogging, I've always felt this nagging sense of conviction. What if I used half of the passion that I write with to actually reach out and help someone? To actually engage with flesh and blood human beings, being the hands and feet and voice of God to them? What if I spent some of the energy that I use to interview people, to sit down and meet with leaders, activists, and politicians, and use my passion to work for some substantial change in the world? And what if all of my friends in the blogosphere, all the faithful readers of Revangelical, and all of our followers on Facebook and Twitter decided to do the same thing? Decided to join with us to live out the call of Jesus to heal the sick, provide for the poor, stand up for those who are marginalized, who have no voice. What if we decided to incarnate love more than just on Facebook and on our favorite blogs? What if we actually got engaged in our own communities? What if we actually left the safe confines of our dorm rooms, apartments, and offices and actually got our hands dirty, worked to make our future brighter? And what if our favorite blogs helped us to do that? This year, I'm launching a new initiative at the Revangelical Movement called Revangelicals for a Better Tomorrow to help us do just that. Revangelicals for a Better Tomorrow seeks to provide evangelicals a platform to move from mere online activism to substantial action in their communities, country, and world concerning the issues that matter. As evangelicals, people of the good news, we are compelled to live out the gospel of Jesus in word and deed, seeking to follow the radical example that Jesus laid of unconditional love to our families, our neighbors, and even our enemies. We seek to do this through partnering with faith-based organizations that are engaging in social justice initiatives on a global, national, and local scale, and assisting them in promoting advocacy and action about their focus issues. This year, we are working to partner with a number of social justice organizations and provide resources and opportunities for you to engage in building the Kingdom of God in your community, in your country, and around the world. I'm so excited to see what is to come in the days ahead and to see us join together and use our collective energy for the common good of the world and the glory of God. For more information and to get involved, visit us online at revangelicalsforabettertomorrow.com or at www.therevangelicalblog.com.